for 11-202, authorize an intermun intermunicipal agreement with the Moved city. Moved by Legislator Valerio, a second by Legislator Gamina. Any discussion? All in favor, please signify by saying aye. Opposed? Carried. Refer 11-207, authorize the... Moved by Legislator Gamina, second by Legislator Valerio. Any discussion? Mr. Beirut. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Um, I did have a few questions actually for the administration. Um, regarding the um, public information meeting that was held on the project on July 27th, were there any attendees or speakers at that meeting? Do we know? Uh, through you, Mr. Chair, uh, the meeting last, last July, there was about 20 uh, people. I don't know, I did not attend. Um, there was not any major issues. There was some discussions about some different things uh, with the sidewalk and stuff that's being put in, but there weren't any major issues and 20 people did turn out. Excellent, thank you. And our additional question um, through the uh, chair of the administration, it makes mention of a, uh, approximately, it's an estimate, 25,000 reimbursement would be coming from the town of Greece. Would that then mean that the total on the first page uh, would be 1,274,000 minus the 25,000 reimbursement approximately? would be total cost or no? Uh, through, through the chair, no. The uh, total cost for construction in the estimate at this time and the supervision and the contingency is one, one, $1,274,000. That includes the $25,000 okay. or actually half of it because some of it's going to be designed. It includes a sum of that $25,000. It includes part of the $25,000 in that number. The okay. rest of the money of the $25,000 is going to be their, the design cost for the sidewalk. Thank you. Um, and I have two more additional questions regarding this um, referral. Um, the project itself, um, do we have an estimate or a scheduled begin date and estimate end date on the project? Or no, is it too early? Uh, no, uh, through the chair, we're, until it gets, goes out to bid, but our anticipation, there's a school right there. We anticipate, we're working with the school now, but we anticipate the school will not want us to start um, the construction until, um, after school is out in late June, and then it would go into next fall. Okay. It might, I mean, if they don't have a problem starting earlier, we'll start in the spring and be done by Labor Day of next year. So it's, we're, got, we're working with the school on that. Okay, fair enough. Then finally, through the chair, um, then that would indicate to me that the project itself, I, I presume, will be completed, begun and completed during fiscal year 2012. Um, and does that indicate then that while this will not um, affect this year's budget, it could indeed affect next year's budget, either positively or negatively? For the uh, through the chair, actually the, the dollars for Kirk Road have already been, uh, the, the binding for that was approved in the 2011 CIP. So um, there is some money to do it. We don't know right now whether it'll be enough and we'll, once we have the bids, we'll be coming back here for award and we would ask this body if we needed an amendment, we would do an amendment at that time. Um, I would like to also say that 95% of the money is being reimbursed by the state or the feds. Yes, thank you very much, appreciate it. Any other questions? Good questions. Any other discussion? All in favor, signify by sign that. Opposed? Carried. Refer 11-208, authorize an intermunicipal agreement. Moved by Mr. Gamina, second by Legislator Valerio. Any discussion? Let's, Legislator Baruth. Thank you. Um, I have a, a number of questions on this. It's, um, it might take a little bit of time. Just go right ahead. Okay. Um, through the chair to the administration, um, I note that this is, uh, correct, my character, correct me if my characterization is incorrect, um, that what we're essentially proposing to do is to take a section of railroad right away owned currently by the county and license a, uh, the company to utilize a portion of this railroad in exchange for, and this is where my language may be inaccurate, in exchange for a essentially um, a conversion of some of the area for trail use. Is that correct? Uh, through the chair, not quite. Okay. Uh, the county owns a, county owns a section of uh, railroad, the rail. Um, not the, ro the land or anything else like that, we own the railroad. And we have a license currently with Ontario Midland Railroad Corporation for them to utilize the railroad, our rail for railroad purposes. 
and they have to mail to maintain the railroad, et cetera. Um, through a grant that this body um, awarded to the town and village of Webster uh, from the, I think it was a Green Space Initiative grant, um, they were interested in putting a trail in. And a section of that railroad that we own is no longer being used for railroad purposes. So we are going to transfer to the town village the a section of that railroad. Um, they are going to remove the rail. They're going to put a trail in, and then they have to build another little portion of some railroad so they can so the railroad will be able to turn around to back to the east. Um, and then we will part of this referral is to again do a agreement with the railroad, Ontario Midland Railroad, for them to be responsible for the maintenance of the remaining portion of railroad that we own. So part of the licensing agreement through the chair um, would be that they would be responsible for maintaining the railroad itself in case no matter who uses it. Um, and are there any other specific terms or um, characterization of the um, license that might result in um, uh, any sort of funding or transfer of funds from uh, either the company to the county or to the city or to the town or anything along those lines? Or is this the license that says you may utilize this in exchange for maintaining it and proper well, use and all that? Through the chair, when we bought, we bought it 40 years ago, I guess. Okay. And uh, then we entered an agreement, the county did, with the railroad for them to utilize it for cost of, I think, a dollar or whatever. Mm -hmm. And then, but they have to maintain it, maintain the railroad. So they're responsible for the railroad and they will be responsible for the remaining portion. It'll be a lesser portion they are now, but they'll be responsible for maintaining the lesser portion mm -hmm. once this is done. That license agreement will do that. The other portion that we is no longer needed for railroad purposes will go to the town and village and the trail will go there. And then the town and through the chair, the town and village would be uh, responsible for any appropriate means in that for that section. No. Through the chair, that's correct, and we will be totally out of ownership of that section because, like I said, we do not own the underlying land okay. um, on that, and uh, so we will be we will only own this the shorter section, about a two mile section of railroad. Okay. Uh, through the chair, to the administration, I must say I'm very excited about this whole thing. I, I actually like you making use of the railways uh, that aren't being utilized otherwise. Um, so I you know, forgive me for asking these questions. I want to make sure I'm going to vote the correct way. Um, am I correct to assume through the chair that a license agreement is a temporary thing for, for in five-year increments in this case, whereas a transfer is actually permanent? That's not reversible. Through the chair, that's correct. Okay. Um, and then I have a couple additional questions regarding um, the, uh, the referral uh, talks about some railroad crossings that are, uh, quote, no longer in use um, around the Colt Road and Phillips Road as well as over uh, Route 250. Does that mean that currently no trains whatsoever utilize it whatsoever at all? Through the chair, that's correct. This is the only railroad there that, and they're the only company that uses uses the railroad, and they don't. There's no need for them to go down there, that to the west any any longer. Okay, um, and then I, through the chair, I, I think you you may have answered this. The administration may have already answered this question. That section of railroad currently is being utilized by uh, Ontario Midland Company now, correct? Through the chair, Ontario Midland Railroad Corporation is who we have the agreement with and who utilizes the portions of that railroad now, yes, okay. in Monroe County. And There's also sections in Wayne County. Yes, so, okay. And uh, I asked that actually through the chair for the administration because um, I was curious as to whether or not this might result in any increase in um, um, revenue or um, job possibilities either for the railroad or for the uh, companies that the railroad actually services. And I would imagine then through the chair, not, that would not be the case. Uh, through the chair, I wouldn't, wouldn't know that that would be Ontario Midland. It depends on what development might occur back to the east of where they where they can and they would be able to serve them but i'm not aware of any right well, th through the chair thank you so much uh, for your uh, you know comments on this i do appreciate it um and i'm actually very supportive thank you all in favor signify by saying aye opposed carried any other matters to come before the committee the august 23rd Meeting of Intergovernmental Relations stands adjourned. The next meeting is scheduled for the 27th of September at 5.30.